Hey everybody, welcome back to the Conspiracy Podcast. What up? What's up everyone? Hope everybody's doing good as we move into October. October. <laughs> Halloween, the day of the dead. The month of my birth. Uh, here we go. I know. Mm-hmm. Big When's birthday your birthday? Coming up. Next week? Know. <laughs> <laughs> Next week? Next week? Sixteen. No, okay. two weeks. It's, it's two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah but we're we're yeah. Next week we're doing we're going out. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm there. I'm, like, only I'm definitely friends. there. <laughs> only friends. No, no, I'm definitely there. <laughs> good, good. Sean has. Uh, I'm, I've been waiting for an excuse to go out and like <laughs> fucking drink. Sorry, so. honey, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, so before we do Sean's birthday, we're gonna do something. It's called the Lost Colony of Roanoke. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd rather do the birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Night and night. <laughs> yeah. Peace out, guys. So if you've ever driven up to DC or New York, you have passed Roanoke. Yes. You've seen it. You've you've driven by it. It's it's uh, it's, still it's lost. an exit. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exit on the highway all the way up to DC, and it's it's Roanoke, right? And um, so we should have done that on our road trip. I know. Yeah. I, know. Been good. I know. I know. Cool. Uh, so this is kind of like very similar to an episode that we did uh, on the Dyatlov Pass. Yeah, I love that. You I know, actually really liked was, that episode. Yeah, where it was a, a, mystery, it was a mystery story. Yeah. You know that sort of thing. So, <laughs> but then we um, like see like what what, could, what did happen? Yeah, what <laughs> happened? Spear size exactly. it. So this is one this is of right the up here. Oldest, you love these. Like this these is one like, of the con- oldest like, ones of the U.S. This is the very beginning, it. the birth of America. Okay. This is, you know, at the very beginning. So, and I want to give you a little orientation of where we are. So we're going to take you back. Yeah. <laughs> History Channel. We're going to take you back. Let's right? go. So this was around a uh, hundred years after Columbus. Okay. So, Columbus, the great fucking so this piece is, of shit. That <laughs> <we love. laughs> so this is in Here the 1500s. Go. Yeah. So Columbus already came and, you know, a little bit Raped of time has passed. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm sorry. I um, just like, because Columbus Day is on like the 14th. It's coming up. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't why don't we celebrate this piece of shit? <laughs> he was the worst. He was this total scumbag. I know. What a weird part of history. I know, but like that, we're still like, we'll celebrate like, I, that. I wonder who was the guy who was like, he found America. I know, like all the indigenous people. Yeah, they didn't see yeah. shit. <laughs> like I found it. Also, fuck Leif Erikson. I know, right? Literally. Yeah, another Eric. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. We're we're a diamond. He was husband. Eric. So, he was <laughs> Eric's son. Yeah, I know. We're, <laughs> we're, we're elite. <laughs> we're elite. <laughs> elite. Yeah, You're elite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the 1500s saw the reign of the Tudor dynasty. I don't know if you've heard of the Tudors, but I'm it's sure like Henry, lost. Henry no. the Eighth, Elizabeth the First. Okay. Um, this is like the uh, King Henry who had many wives, and he killed a bunch yes. of them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I've uh, actually been to the. If you go to um, in England, I've mm-hmm. been to it numerous times. It is oh uh, he- Hever Castle. Okay. Yeah. And that was where um, Marie Antoinette. Yeah, and all Marie that Antoinette. Stuff? That was yeah. where she lived at that castle, and it's yeah. and they have it's very cool. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Beautiful castle, beautiful yeah. grounds. But so I'm just laying the land, like laying the time. Like we're 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 transporting you back to this time. So okay. this is Henry the Eighth, Elizabeth the First. Um Henry the Eighth broke from the Catholic Church and he established the Church of England. Yes. Which was the separate from the actual church. It was the government being like we are the church. Yes. Separate from the actual church. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh this was also during the time of the Spanish Armada. Um, and you know, this was the age of exploration and the heart of the Renaissance. Shakespeare mm. was writing his plays at this time, supposedly. supposedly. Yeah. supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> so that just to we did give a whole idea episode on that, are, by the way, yeah. if you guys haven't heard it. So just to give you an idea of where we are, like that's what's happening in the okay. world, right? And America is the new, the new new. Yeah, it's like the new, it's like the new cologne. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and it's also. The third largest land. It's just this yeah. massive yeah. expanse, and they're yep. like on a little island. Yeah, like idiots. So also, this is two hundred years before the Declaration of Independence. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's we're not quite there yet. Right. No. Yeah. That was just like, they were like, this is like discovery. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So in fifteen eighty seven, under the ambitious charter granted by Queen Elizabeth I, Sir Walter Raleigh dispatched a group of one hundred and fifteen colonists to establish a new English settlement settlement in the new world and this was called the roanoke colony often called the lost colony and it was not actually the first 
English settlement, but it was the first attempt to make an English settlement. Yeah? Can you imagine okay. being on like being on that crew list? They're like, look, check it out. <laughs> yeah. It's completely it's, undeveloped. It's totally fine. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be totally Bring fine. Bring your kids. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. There's gold everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. 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 So the colony was established in 1587 on Roanoke Island in what is now North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The first successful permanent English settlement was Jamestown. And that was founded a little bit later in 1607. First successful? <laughs> yes. Roanoke was a huge fail. So Roanoke Island located in North Carolina and this hopeful community sought to lay roots in America. However, shortly after its establishment, the entire colony vanished leaving behind nothing but en enigmatic clues and sparking one of the greatest mysteries in American history. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's essentially the story, and then we'll dive into it. But basically, 115 people went to settle this place, disappeared. God, and it's I, every time okay. I think about things back in this time... I, I, and maybe I'm a weirdo, but I'm like, God, it must have smelled so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, God. I'm like, oh, just a bunch of, and they're wearing like. That's what you're worried about? Thick, yeah, I know. That's like, what he thinks about. Thick oh. fucking color yeah. bonnets and like fucking yeah. wool coats. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> God. Just okay. sweat in the. They did not know about the yeah. humidity that's about to hit them. <laughs> no. You fools. <laughs> so Governor John White, which is. I don't understand why you would be so basic of a name. I mean, that is like, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't it's get it doesn't get more. It's almost not John even Anglo Russell. than that. Yeah, yeah, Anglo, yeah. Anglo I wonder if he was white. <laughs> <laughs> I would take a wild guess. Yeah. So he was tasked with leading the colony, with 115 colonists, including men, women, and children, and they arrived on the island in 1587. Upon the arrival, the colonists found that there was a fort abandoned. And which had been constructed by a previous expedition in 1585. Oh man, I would have been so pumped. I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. I have to build shit. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a pre constructed fort. They're like, let's do it. I know. It's like, yeah. like they like, got foreclosed on. I'm like, <laughs> look, we're going to squat here. Yep. So the new settlers began rebuilding the fort and established relations with the local Indians or Native American tribes, some of which were strained due to previous encounters of. The white man. Oh, yeah. They don't speak the same language, and they yeah. were just getting constantly like, oh, here, look, this. I have this beautiful hat here. Give me all of your buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> and they brought fucking syphilis and chlamydia. And just <laughs> right? fucking, yeah, and they just started banging everybody. And, like, how do you get Those so... Those Indians look good. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Like, did they come over and just start Banging people? Yes. And yeah, pretty much. 100%. Crazy. Classic English. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So together with his fellow settlers, including his daughter, Eleanor Dare, uh, his daughter was named Eleanor Dare, and then his granddaughter, Virginia Dare, Virginia Dare became the first English-born person in America. Oh, shit. Hmm. So if you wanted to know who was the first yeah, person like, born in America, it like a her. white person, it's uh, Virginia Dare. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they worked to rebuild the fort and foster relations with the, the Native American tribes. However, the re relationships were complex and strained because of the previous settlements that tried for the last hundred years. Oh, shit. Yeah. So it was like a never ending, like, I don't know. Just imagine you come over and you're like, there's a hundred years of Indians being mad at you for a for hundred years of you coming in and just. Well, dude, it actually was more shit. than a yeah. hundred years. I don't know if you remember. Oh yeah, for like sure. The, yeah, like it's funny because my my great my great great grandfather was my, my great 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 my, 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 great great. I think it was my great great great. He great was, great great. I think it was my great great great. He was a Buffalo Soldier. Really? And it was oh, cool yeah. because the Buffalo Soldiers were they were Union military men, but they were black dudes, mm. and they called them Buffalo Soldiers because the Indians did not trust white people. So they would send them. They were like, oh, "Okay, I guess you guys are cool. You're cool. <laughs> You're like, cool. What up, homie? They're from the Bahamas or something." <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. Buffalo but, um, soldier. You know, they would. They would be the ones that would have the interactions with the, the Native Americans because yeah. the Native yeah. Americans were like white devil, and they're like, "Oh so yeah, we, yeah. This, over hundreds Eric. of years, they're like, we cannot trust you, motherfuckers." Yeah. Yeah, Eric. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, Eric. <laughs> John Eric White. <laughs> So it's like, <laughs> <that joke. laughs> so as time went on, resources dwindled. They didn't know necessarily how to farm. They didn't know how to procure supplies. Um, and their resources started to dwindle to where they started to starve. Uh, Cannibalism. 
Every so, time. I know. Every do, time. Do it again. <laughs> um, so John. <laughs> so John decided that he had to leave the settlement and go back to England to get more supplies. Oh yeah, good job. This is for you. <laughs> I'll be back. Trust I me. Trust How me. fucked up is this? <laughs> uh, no, trust it's me. so messed up. Like I'm taking a yeah, one man ship. Yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> So he went back to England. He left his family left there. Left his family with a wow. piece of cheap and a side piece. And he's like, hey, yeah. I'm going to be back 90 days. I'll be back. <laughs> 90 days. Don't, don't worry about easy. it. I'll be back. 90 yes. days. <laughs> he went back to England. They were at war with Spain. And so like, there was a naval war going on. So it wasn't like you could go... Yeah, it's like straight shot. Yeah, like, like there wasn't like a he like, go like around. Yeah, it wasn't like, like Spirit Airlines <laughs> and just fucking pop yeah. over real yeah. quick. Yeah, uh, so it was significantly delayed due to that war, and it prevented him from securing a ship back to America. Three years. Oh wow! Oh took. wow! So then he finally nine returned. hundred days. Just nine hundred days. Easy Can you imagine you just leave your family and it's like. Uh, Sorry, but yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> you like go to Paris and you just fucking binge drinking. <laughs> Bunch of hookers and fucking Jack the Ripper and shit. Just he comes back, going. he's like 90 pounds yes. heavier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he finally made it back. But when he came back, it was gone. He found the colony was deserted. I mean, they were already dwindling supplies. I mean, three years. Wow. They're fucking toast. So the so he noted that the fort was overgrown, the houses collapsed indicating that the site had been abandoned for some time. The only clues left behind were the word Croatoan, which is C-R-O-A-T-O-A-N, C-R-O-A-T-O-A-N, carved into a fence post, and the letter C-R-O on a tree. The fuck does that mean? Some like a uh, national treasure code here. <laughs> so White took these clues to suggest that the colonists may have moved and left to a Croatan island, which is now, now it's called Hatteras Island, but at the time it was called Croatoan Island. Oh, okay, that, okay. Makes, some, yeah. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Where the Croatoan tribe, which were friendly to the colonists, they lived. Oh, they okay. Were, we've, we've, we've now married all of our women <laughs> off to the Croatoan people. So, in like, so what he thought was that they decided to go onto a tree, write the letter C R O, and be like, hey, this is where we went. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it okay. kind of makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'll yeah. go with that. He then went to that island. His efforts were thwarted by a series of misfortunes. Weather turned bad. He had a, there was a hurricane. One of the ships were damaged, and eventually, the captain of the ships that he was on said, "We cannot go further. We're returning to England." Damn. Oh shit. So this guy is and like, where where John where White, where is it like of the year. like just still a few miles down? Okay. I mean fifty miles down. Okay, and not like a few, but like right. fifty miles down. Yeah, a lot, it's another a island. lot shorter than England. Yeah, another yeah. island. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently, White was devastated okay. as his oh, after, family after three years of like piecing out so of his family. His entire family was gone, including his daughter and his granddaughter Virginia. The, the firstborn. I don't mm -hmm. think this motherfucker sort of was like. Yeah. You know, they did not shed one tear. Fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm like, all right, sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll see, 90 days. Promise you. Here, here's back. what's the crazy part. He never returned. He went back to England. He wow. never came back to America. Settled into his new life. The fate of the colonists remain unknown to this day. No rescue mission or thorough search was undertaken after by the English. The mystery lingered and became a tale and a mystery and a legend Fireside. of America. And no bodies were found. No clothing was found. No personal belongings of the Roanoke colonists were ever found at the site of the deserted colony. Did they ever to this day? Did they ever explore this Croatoan island? Yeah, like dig and nothing, nothing. I mean, they didn't have no. Wow. They didn't have any ships or anything, right? They're, they're like, and it's not like we're gonna it's, swim. We're gonna it's swim. not like it's Jorge, Sean, and Eric. Yeah, <laughs> and we got like a little camp thing. <laughs> know, like, we didn't find any fucking modelos. <laughs> <laughs> we can't survive. Yes. <laughs> and then Eric's like, "I'm going to 7-Eleven. I'll be back yes. in 90 days." It's yeah. 115 <laughs> people. Yeah. Women, children, men. Yeah. Damn. Nothing. Yeah. I mean, it does like. The thing that sucks though is like since he was gone for three years, it'd be different if he was gone for like six months. Yeah, there might be some signs of like tracks, or yeah. maybe you might find like. Yeah. So the English were ruthless, um, and they their ambitions to colonize America was uh, very strong, and so 
they just said, fuck Roanoke. <laughs> <laughs> Place sucks. No, and then a few years later, they established uh, Jamestown. Yeah. Which I mean, was the first permanent, like, if you wanted to go to the oldest town of America, it's Jamestown. It's Jamestown. Oh, well, okay. I think they also, yeah. like, they, they, this was like the, this is like the test case. They're like, let's see what happens. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. oh, shit, we should probably bring more supplies and, and then like, learn how to cultivate the land. They straight up just pieced them out. Oh, that's so Damn. Deep. Yeah. So this is uh, this is five hundred years of speculation, of mystery, of uh, I mean, they're the some of the dumbest documentaries you'll ever watch in your, <laughs> in your entire life. Okay, okay. Uh, wait. Can't wait, to watch wait. Those. The little nighttime, and they're like digging, technology. literally like seventeen hours of them digging. Like, oh, there's an arrowhead. Maybe this was the Roanoke arrowhead. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, like yeah. I watched about seven hours, and I was like. I there's no, no I feel like here. a lesser person now having watched this. <laughs> I actually this. know less about yes, Roanoke. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. That's really the story of, of Roanoke, and and you can go there, and and there's all these theories, and we're gonna go over the theories, and and but they 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 range from uh, murderous Indians to uh, to jealousy and I mean, you, know, like you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, shit. They were like mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff, but no evidence. Like, little That's Becky. the thing. Becky's yeah. Becky, little Becky's yeah. looking good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so over the centuries, numerous theories and investigations have been proposed to explain the fate, one of which is the integration with local tribes. One of the most widely uh, accepted theories is that the colonists, they were facing starvation mm -hmm. and isolation, and they may have maybe integrated with... That's what I mean. That's what seems like. That's all. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. Mary seems pretty like, legit. Hey, we, got these, we got these fine white women here, my man. <laughs> yeah, the Indians are like, okay, yep. all right, we'll feed you. You got a cheeseburger over there. I got a white <laughs> woman over here. <laughs> no, it's like, look, fair trade. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> now there's some like, I mean, this is very loose witnesses that say, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> witnesses. No, I, I mean, like they say, oh, you know, that tribe of Roanoke. And the Indian tribe that was nearby had some white qualities to them. So then that what means... They, what do they define as a white quality? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, receding hairline, <laughs> blue eyes, big dick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is like, seven, of the, seven of the chieftains are bald, are bald bearded white men. <laughs> we think that they got some qualities. Uh, another theory uh, poses that the Spanish, who had established a presence in Florida, St. Augustine, yeah, exactly, yep. yeah. uh, they destroyed the colony, wiped them out, um, and that's the theory is that my thing is, but like, there's no evidence that shows that I don't know how, I don't know the how up. the Spanish survived when they got to like St. Augustine. <laughs> I like, how the fuck did they survive? Cause like, I mean, you could put me in St. Augustine with, with actual supplies and I would die. <laughs> I would die. Dude, it's the most humid place it on is, earth. Oh, yeah. Me and my wife it's have been there multiple, multiple times and like we go to like the fort and like I walk around yeah. and then I'm like, I'm soaking wet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the super hot yeah. bar that the yeah. AC doesn't How's work. that different from here? Yeah. It's a little different because I'm it's walking a little more. more. <laughs> yeah, also, yeah, right. just, <laughs> just imagine wearing like a petticoat. Or, like, some fucking, <laughs> like, I'm like, whoa, 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 yeah, some <laughs> whoa shit, and you're living in a fucking ugh. like a microwave. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. Some believe that the colonists attempted to relocate to Chesapeake Bay, uh, as suggested by some maps of the era, showed that there was maybe a fort nearby, and they went to Chesapeake Bay. So that's one. Hmm. Um, another possibility is, is that the, yeah. is that the <laughs> colon, I, I like that one. <laughs> another possibility is that the colonists decided to peace out of America and go they where? got on a boat and just went and like got lost in sea in the, the, the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, how the, how it comes I like together. that. I mean, because it's kind of close, yeah, and you kind of ish. I mean, you kind of go. And they're like, if, they're not know. like sea no, people. Like, no. They're like this way. Yeah, this yeah. is like the right yeah. way. <laughs> it's run by a bunch of women. <laughs> they can't drive. Just kidding. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll keep that in. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Have a problem. No, no, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm all in. Uh, recent archaeological digs have provided some evidence that may support the integration theory. I like the integration. Theory. Yeah, I think yeah. Integration theory. Artifacts such as English pottery shards have been found in Native American sites, suggesting that some interaction between the colonists and local tribes. Yeah, they, they, they noticed that they had uh, blood sausage and beans for <laughs> breakfast, and the Indian. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. 
in England. Yeah. Every time I yeah. go to England, I'm like, I just can't. Yeah. It's like, why yeah. is it so heavy? I don't Dude, need like I know. this much density in I'm my always, breakfast. I'm always just crazy. <laughs> Every time I go to Europe, I'm constipated by like 11 a.m. Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, God. And then I'm like, Oh, I guess we'll have a Guinness with yeah. this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, guess. I guess. I guess. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, we're like the fat ones. I don't understand it. <laughs> no, I don't understand I'm like, it. How are you all not yeah. obese? This is crazy. <laughs> Anyways. The story of Roanoke has captivated historians, archaeologists, etc., contributing to a broader understanding of the early colonial endeavors on American soil. But there are there are hundreds of books, movies, documentaries, uh, fictional movies, uh, all this sort of thing. It's a very much like a campfire story. Yeah, because yeah. It's, it's, there's no data. Yeah, nothing. They were there. Yeah. We know that. Yeah. And then they weren't. Yeah. And we know that. Modern archaeological techniques such as ground penetrating radar, mm. DNA analysis. Now these are part of the the, the documentaries that will you'll want to kill yourself after watching. Yes. Yeah. Because they're like, you know, we're gonna fucking put it in the ground for twelve hours. And I was like, nope, nothing here. <laughs> yes. One hundred percent. And that's it. Yeah. And you move on. Yeah, they're like, and you're like, sick. fuck. Like, it was a two million dollar grant. And it was on the <laughs> the like, Meanwhile, you invested like a few hours, a few a few like Heinekens in, and you're like, God damn yeah. it, nothing here. And you're like, yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, down like a thumbs down on Netflix, you piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> While some archaeological findings suggest potential integration of native tribes, others propose that environmental factors may have played significant roles in the disappearance. I mean, yeah, like America is not England. Yeah. yeah, it's not overcast all the time. Yeah, it's not like they're yeah. like, I mean, some places are. This is North like, Carolina too, so there's like there's storms. It's humidity. It's a little bit of Florida and a little bit of North. Yeah, true. So you got cold, true. Yeah, fucking like, ass there's, weather. Yeah, there's there's like, all of the, the seasons. Things. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. if they're coastal, yeah, they're yeah. gonna get like hit. But again, it's it's very strange to me because you no know, graves. No. Yeah, you uh, think there would be like one motherfucker died there and they yeah, buried him, but but very little. Very little things, and then they just gave up on him, and like the people gave up on him, the family and gave find, up like, on any, him. Like clothes or anything, like, nothing, like none nothing. of nothing, nothing. And so the, a lot of hmm. a lot of maybe things. Maybe they were fucking. Maybe the Indians just murked them and they took all their shit. But there would be bodies though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe they took the bodies. Unfortunately, too. the <laughs> difference between this and say Diatlov Pass is we have like photos and we like, we saw yeah, like this and what Diatlov Pass. Pass. Oh. You know what I mean? Like I mean Diatlov Pass also happened like. Yeah, 50 years ago. Yeah, yeah. True, <laughs> so, true, like, true, 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 true. So I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of like, uh, I mean, we don't even have to get into the whole like theories of, of you know, how they treated the Indians wrong and the Indians butchered them. and then, But we don't know because there's no, there's no data. No, I could also see like, even if they didn't treat them wrong, I get to see, let's say like you're, you just like happen to run into them. Yeah, and you're in like, a tribe, and you're oh, like, oh shit. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, you see all these people that are like, you know, to you, they're alien. You're yeah. Like, Who the fuck? Are, yeah. like, what the yeah. hell is this? Yeah. And you're like, well, they gotta be yeah. enemies. Fuck them. Like, yeah. You know, you don't know. This. Yeah. You're not gonna like risk it. And maybe like you have like heard stories. Maybe their campfire tales are like. Yeah. These, yeah. These fucking pale yeah. motherfuckers <laughs> come here. and They got muskets and shit. So and here, like, here are a couple. Um, like this would be the stuff that we would talk about at the campfire. Yeah, here are a couple like little okay. anecdotes about the story. Yeah. Okay. okay, one is the Virginia Dare s- uh, symbols. Okay, and she was the the first born. Yeah, first born. Yeah, she was the first okay. born on American soil. The she's first, technically the first like, real American. She's the first real American. Well, technically, except for yeah. the Native Americans. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> first never get any credit. <laughs> I'm not, never not, the first human not, uh, born on American soil. <laughs> and like, yo, yeah. like, well, we've been here for thousands of years. <laughs> like, losers never get credit, even by brown people. We're like, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Virginia was the first. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, her name and the circumstances of her birth have become emblematic of the mysterious disappearance of the colony. Over the years, her story has intertwined with uh, American folklore, including a legend where she is transformed into a white doe by Native American magic. The myth symbolizes okay. the merging of English settlers with the Native environment, reflecting deeper, theme- deeper themes of adoption and survival. Mm. Yeah, so we're gonna like check that one off the board. <laughs> scratch it. Hell no. Uh, the next like an one. Indian witch doctor turns the homegirl into. I a mean, dub. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. This is like where like we have like peyote 
And we're fucking yeah, they're like, yeah. Split, yeah. Like split tents. Like, oh, maybe this is what happened to Virginia. Yeah. She became a fucking doe in Harry Potter's fucking. <laughs> she's the elder wall. Yeah, she's the fucking yeah. Made from her femur. Yeah. In night, uh, th- then there's the Dare Stones. In 1937, a stone allegedly allegedly ex- inscribed by Eleanor Dare, which was the mom of Virginia was found in North Carolina. The stone, known as the Dare Stone, claimed to relay the fate of the Roanoke colonists. On a, like a little stone? It's like, suggesting... Like, small, like, okay, here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> suggesting they suffered a series of misfortunes. However, the authenticity of this and subsequent stones found later remains controversial. I love mm. to see the stone. These stones, if authentic, would offer a direct account from a colonist about their fate. But again, the authenticity. The thing remains about that is like we footnote. would we carve C R O into a tree, and then she's like, "I'm gonna chronicle this all on a stone." <laughs> right, right. Check me out here. <laughs> like we'll never know the difference. Next one is John White's map. Okay. Remember John White, mm-hmm. right? John, he's the he's a fucking dick. I think John White is like organized. Like he was like. Yeah. He was like, I'm gonna invite all my homies he that I hate. Yeah. And then and then like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna dump my kids off and like peace. What a like a like an intricate way to get rid of your wife. I know, like <laughs> he's a murderer. And he's like, Jesus I came Christ. back. Yeah. And he like looks I like swear. years later. <laughs> he's like, Nope, no one's here. Gotta go. Yeah. John White, the governor of Roanoke Colony, created a detailed maps of the region. Modern technology revealed a hidden fort symbol under a patch on one of the maps. Suggesting that the colonists might have moved inland to a location previously planned for fortification. Did how much you want to bet that John White knew where they were and was like, can't find anything? Yeah. <laughs> Back to England! <laughs> <laughs> he looks solid and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> Back to Paris. <laughs> Back to the, where's the wine? Back yeah. to the city. <laughs> this discovery uh, directed recent archaeological efforts inland, like Site X, in hopes of finding evidence uh, providing a potential clue to their fate. But... Again, nothing was no, no real evidence, no, no real concrete. concrete. Again, so it'd be kind of like you ca- like you came it. back, you looked for your family, you made a map, and then you put a little X. <laughs> and then later on, Sean's like, I found fucking John White's map. <laughs> and then there was an X on it, and you're like, what the fuck is that X? <laughs> like 500 years later. Remember the X like where you like took a shit? I know. <laughs> Don't no, stick no. here. Yeah. <laughs> took, the, took shit. At this yeah. Or it's like he buried his diary. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. Okay, cool. okay, good. The next one, Spanish involvement. The Spanish Empire competing with England for domination in the Americas, because mm-hmm. at this time it was yeah. Yeah. Know, real, real heated. Uh, he, they kept detailed records of their rivals' colonial activities. Spanish documents reference Roanoke, but intriguingly do not report any direct interference with the colony. The absence of Spanish involvement in the colony's fate, despite their knowledge and proximity, adds another layer of mystery. Meaning they were pretty far away, though. Like it had to sound like. Well, oh, they were up there too. I mean, well, they were they were like. It, again, it goes back to not having any info is suspicious. I know they're like it's sus that they didn't do shit about it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like well, America is like twelve times the size of <laughs> both of your countries Dude, combined. Yes. <laughs> like, exactly. So again. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love yeah. It. It's like literally like it's so weird that they it's didn't so weird that they didn't anything. know that they let them be. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Sketch. I love those. I love them so much. Okay, good. Then we we go back to the tree carvings. When John White returned to Roanoke in 1590, he found the colony deserted, no trace of the colonists except for the word Croatan, carved into a post and C R O. On a tree. Mm-hmm. It's got to have some significance. These carvings suggest that the colonists might have moved to Croatan. Cro- am I saying that right? Croatoan? I think it's Croatoan. Croatoan Island. Other, less well-documented carvings supposedly bearing the initials of colonists could indicate their paths or fates, uh, but have not been verified as the same certainty as that original message. Meaning there were other carvings, but the most everybody agrees that somebody wrote Croatoan. Okay. Into a post. And CRO into a tree. Okay. Hmm. Okay, good. The next one. But then, yeah, why... But see, my thing is like, okay, you you do the full word into a post, but only CRO into the tree? Mm-hmm. Well, you can I mean, it's hard to 
to write on a tree. Like it's <laughs> that is game. I'm like, yeah. Good enough. Have I you ever tried to the... carve anything into a tree? It's fucking yeah. hard, dude. I guess I don't live in the 1500s. <laughs> it takes, a long, it takes a, long a long time. Yo, it takes a long ass time. time. Send me a three three letters. <laughs> know, Probably like, took them all day. I know they're like I'm starving. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I know. Doing this. <laughs> 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 okay, so then there's something called the Satterfield site. In recent archaeological excavations on Hatteras Island, which was formerly Croatoan Island, uh, having covered English artifacts dating from the late 16th century, which could belong to the Roanoke settlers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Items such as parts of a sword hilt and pottery fragments suggest a possible relocation of the colonists to this area. Supporting the hypothesis derived from the Croatoan carving. Yeah, I mean, that's the most obvious choice. These findings potentially connect the physical movements of the colonists to a specific location. But then the question then becomes, if they moved to Croatoan Island, did they just absorb into that tribe and then disappear? I mean, it's either, disappear. It's either that. I mean, not disappear. You know, like after that, like it's, it's just. It's either that. Like I don't. So I don't imagine. I don't ever foresee like them fully integrating into the tribe. I see the mm. tribe being like, kill the dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you know, like or like make them slaves or something. You're cool. Yeah. <laughs> You're cool. <laughs> Uh, come here, Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Virginia Dare, huh? Hey, uh, Steve, why don't you come uh, meet me by the fireplace? I dare, I dare you to come to my tent. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Put on this blindfold, Virginia. Uh, the, story, the story of Roanoke has captured the imagination of many. Uh, it's become literature, books, uh, film, television. I mean, it, you, can, you could go do ghost tours. Oh yeah, Roanoke Island right it's now. It's so okay. funny you do ghost tours, but there's like no bodies there. Yeah, so you're like, yeah. where are the ghosts? Be? It's it's honestly it's it's one of the ones that are in. It's just American folklore. It's oh, yeah. Roanoke. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like at this point, it'll never be solved. Yeah, unless we solve it tonight, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which we might. Uh, so let's get into the <laughs> fucking wild ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the real wild ones. Finally. Yeah. Finally. One of the more outlandish theories suggests that colonists were abducted by aliens. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> or vanished. There ain't no shit left, no fucking clothes, not a one pot, not a one teacup. Or uh, vanished due to supernatural forces, kind of like an X-Files kind of phenomenon. But is it um, X-Files aliens? Well, yeah. All, well like, oh, it's no, also, not, uh, not it's also like it, yeah. It's also like demons and oh, yeah. uh, oh, yeah, fucking... Yeah. Weird. I mean, they did talk about the Indian witch doctor got yes. turned to death. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, where are clothes go? Yeah. Some theories propose that Roanoke colonists left the island to live with indigenous tribes, but were later taken by explorers or traders from other non-European countries that made contact with the Americans before Columbus as slaves. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we're saved! Slaves! <laughs> yes. like, God damn it. So then they uh, made that transatlantic travel i mean to africa and then became slaves god can you imagine fucking and then they were wiped out you imagine you know, traveling like to a different parts. country on a on a wooden ship Fuck. oh my like, god have you seen amistad Dude. yeah that's that's a hard one to watch Dude, it's, that is it's the... brutal set us us yeah, set us <laughs> oh my god Dude. it's, so, it's so good though it's like it's it good it's yeah. all the acting everything set is us good us free. yeah so good god fuck oh, oh. i know um Another theory, well, like with him, um, yeah. yeah. Another, yeah. <laughs> another theory poses that the colonists were either massacred by the Native Americans, but they left no traces, or by the Spanish that were nearby in Florida. Maybe, see, like maybe, like one of the things that I'm talking about, like maybe the Spanish just took them. Maybe the Spanish came and they're like, mm. "Fuck you, you're, you're coming done. with us down yeah. to the glades." Yeah. I like that. I like <laughs> that. So maybe that's why there's no they a took all their shit. Conspiracy part of it introduce is, you to a crock to an alligator. I know. <laughs> a consp the conspiracy part of that is that they were massacred and then the English covered it up because they didn't want to deter the, the, the new settlers. <laughs> the new settlers of Jamestown. They disappeared. Mm. Oh maybe like oh maybe like they gave John White. John White like found the shit like, like had to clean up the evidence. That's actually legit. I like that. I like because that. Because if you think about it, they're trying to get people to settle America. <laughs> you know, right. Coming like, what's the track but, record we got? Yeah. <laughs> well, Whoa. the first one, they all got slaughtered and everybody got raped, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But we got a new plot yeah. <laughs> looking real hot. <laughs> so that's the, that's the conspiracy theory. Is I that like the that. The English government or, or royalty covered it up 
and, and then, it, oh no, they just disappeared. Whatever, we're not talking about. They that. went to Habitat. Have you heard of Jamestown? What did you say? Yeah. Guy gets like killed. Yeah. <laughs> and it, and it crazy, right? We're going <laughs> about Jamestown, right? In it. <laughs> It's wild, isn't it? Uh, it's it's in it. it. What? There's a cheese there. No. <laughs> Fucking sucker. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Gamer Dave. Sorry, Gamer Dave. Fucking yeah, sucker. <laughs> Don't even call it sucker. I know. <laughs> yeah, football, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they have like old Sorry. Cockney accents, like, like an ancient, like an Some suggest that the disappearance was orchestrated or later covered up by the gov- English government. Um, you know what? If the government's involved, and it's that's what it was. Yeah. So as as a military strategy against the Spanish and about settling because they needed settlers coming. So of that's, that's what we're talking. I about. like yeah. that theory. Yeah. Super fringe on the extra fringe. Time travelers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not even fringe. That's just like it's a different universe. Some have suggested. Some have suggested that colonists disappeared because they traveled through time or found a portal to another dimension. They found like a Stargate. <laughs> the theory is often supported only by fictional accounts. We don't have any evidence of that. No shit. We have <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Damn it. We didn't find, we didn't find we will. the portal. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no evidence. <laughs> but it look, wait, what was that one? But how would we have evidence because they went to a different time? We will, like, we, know, we, 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 we will, we will have evidence soon. It's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> we'll they're, 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 they're like five years in the future. <laughs> is it going to be like the whole, like, uh, uh, like the D.B. Cooper thing? Like people yeah. Oh, my God. I'll promote it. <laughs> it's oh like God. a time travel. Oh my god. Last one. Um, witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Linked to the supernatural theory, some narratives suggest that the colonies fell victim to occult practices or witchcraft, which led to the disappearance. Uh, this ties to into, into the broader fears and stereotypes of that time, which was the pagan practices attributed to both Native Americans and the misunderstood elements of the Elizabethan religion. And moving into Salem and moving into like the witches and yeah. you know what I mean. I, I think a lot of that is honestly that's like propaganda by like the Catholic yeah. Church. So, like, yeah, these pagans yeah. are doing yeah. all this weird shit. And they're like, what, you t- what? I'm sorry, I didn't like. Isn't that one weird? We should do Salem pretty soon. Oh, yes, sure. yeah. yeah, that one's it's a, good a weird one. one yeah, you it's know. super fucking weird because I'm fucked up. It's, it's like I'm pretty sure it's like the fucking Goebbels propaganda machine. I know. Like, you know, oh, you're a witch. Like, there's all those you're memes, too. They're like, you know, like, your girl cheats on you back in the yeah. day. Like, you're like, fuck. Like, <laughs> you know. fucking string her up as yeah. a witch. Like, it's so fucked. Yeah. And it's really easy because people were very, like, devout mm. in the time. And obviously the church ran the country. I mean, in yeah. essence. And same with Spain, too. The Catholic Church ran Spain. Yeah. That's why, yeah. like... That's and a lot was going on with Henry VIII at the time because he was trying to separate... He, he wanted to get a divorce from and they one wouldn't of his let wife, him. and they wouldn't let him. So he's like, "Fuck that!" So he's like, "Fuck it! I'm gonna make it my own church." <laughs> and, a divorce and it's separate from the divorce is whatever. totally kosher. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was godlike, and yeah, and everyone, I yeah. killed my, I just, yeah. I just killed my wife. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get a divorce. You dad. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's the lost colony of Roanoke, and uh, you know all our all all our truck driver listeners who are driving through the North Carolina and South Carolina areas, and you pass Roanoke and. Uh, I don't know. I mean, just know that there's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> there's really nothing there. It's just a bunch of islands, and um, it's kind of like if you went to, you know, if you went into Tampa Bay and you found one of those islands, and it's got oh, like, like a few, random ones, yeah, it's got some trees. It's got like a few trees, mm-hmm. that sort mm-hmm. of thing. Just imagine that, but a little bit longer, maybe a mile or two of a little island with. You could camp there, like a little Caladesi Island yeah, or one of those. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah and that's yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. That is like not a good place to settle. I know. Idiots. Yeah. I know. <laughs> There's like a whole <laughs> land right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is Trust the spot. Trust me. Land. This you're is like, the spot. You're like, bro, there's no dirt. It's just sand. <laughs> it's just sand and like water. And that's like, fine. We're going to build a house here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a fort. Yeah. There's a fort. We're no good. Problem. Yeah. Have you heard of a sinkhole, John? <laughs> John. John. I was like, I mean, this. I am the governor. He's like, it's fine. I'm leaving. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm leaving in like Friday. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Oh, the supply run. <laughs> Sweetheart. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, so, I don't know. This is, I know there's not a lot of data, but what's crazy about this is if you went and you were like, I want to look into this more, 
You could watch 50 hours of documentaries in, and provide in, no more get, data than no, that. Yeah. They have no, yeah. Information. Yes. Literally. You're in the same spot as yes, when you started. Exactly. That yes. gets more confused. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, I apologize if it's condensed into a, like, this is just what I got it's out of all of that. Yeah. yeah. And so, I don't know. I really 115 like people. And the main dude pieced out. Three years later, came back. Oh, nobody's here. I'm out again. I think that. Well, A, go to the middle here. Mm -hmm. I definitely think the, the English government covered it up. Okay. 100%. I like that. I like that theory. I think, they, I like I think they covered it up. I think actually what happened is maybe like maybe a little vanilla, but I think they, they probably were starving. Mm -hmm. okay. And then they probably tried to integrate in like or, or go with and Maybe they took some of them, but not. But I think that there was probably, there was probably bodies there. Like yeah. People who died of starvation because mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Some there had to be a body there. Yeah. One person had to have died there, minimum. <laughs> yeah. And they weren't gonna like take it on like the caravan with yeah. them. Like, right. Yeah. Right. That. Yeah. So I think that when John White came back and they probably had like a fleet of dudes, I think they were like, yo, get bring the body. Yeah. Like, clean it up, make yeah. it look like nothing. We have happened. to get and, Jamestown like, going in like yeah, the, like, post haste. Yeah, we yeah. Are, like <laughs> post post haste. <laughs> post haste. <laughs> They're like this is a logistical nightmare. Yeah. Like, people, people are gonna want to come here. They're like, Let's take the bodies. They yeah. vanished. Yeah. They actually all went to heaven, boys. That's yeah. what happened. So I think that I think that it we was just bury them. Just like get rid of it, right? Well, like they would have found. They would have been. They would have found something. They would have found a bone or a grave or even like right, a little cross. True. I don't yeah, they fucking would have found. They would have found something. Something. I think they took the bodies. But what is the what's the words in the in the tree? Just some dude leaving his thing. I mean, it could be like Cassie, <laughs> Richard, <and> Oswaldo. <laughs> Oswaldo. <laughs> I know, I don't know. I don't know. So you think that's just not relevant? I mean, that kid just fucking etching shit in the, I don't know. Like, uh, it'd be, it, could, it's, it could be nothing. I mean, granted, the Croatoan thing is like pretty captivating, but like maybe like they went and they're not sailors and they just died at sea. Yeah. True. I mean, that's the only other logic. They tried to go home. Yeah, they're like, "Fuck it, we got." Yeah. But they didn't have a boat. Yeah, because John well, they, like, "I'm taking." They tried to go like, home. Follow the sun. They went up back on the island. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! It's true. <laughs> the world is flat. <laughs> I mean, we joke, but that's literally like <laughs> could be. Yeah, we didn't think America was here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like the idea that, um, you know, they just got to a point where there's like, fuck, we're starving, nothing, like, what are we going to do? So they started making their way to this island that they knew was there. So that's why they yeah. kind of left, you know, word behind by... Because by, you, you got to leave, your, you know, your guy. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's like two years later, like, he, like he's a man this. Also, but did they not have paper? That's, uh, could you just, like, tie good, it, like, like good you know question, what I mean? Why do you got to do, like, a coded message? I know. Like, Just leave a letter. And I'm like, hey, hey John. <laughs> hey, John, like, I'm south. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's like no so big logical. deal. <laughs> but, like, but like, also, it's like if you're gonna leave, like, we only have enough time to write one <laughs> word. Three <laughs> letters. Three letters. <laughs> one word. What the fuck are they doing? I they know. just gave up. They're, it's too fucking hard. I'm telling you. Have like, you ever tried the tree? Yeah, it's yeah, fucking hard. Meanwhile, I'm telling yeah. you. Meanwhile, fucking Shakespeare's writing Romeo and Juliet like <laughs> across the pond. Literate. Yeah, and he's across the pond. Writing the fucking greatest uh, play of all time. <laughs> They're like, crow. <laughs> Not even crow, it's like, yeah, crow. What the fuck <laughs> is going on? What Sorry. do you think? Sorry. No, no, good, no, finish your thing. Finish your thing. Yeah. I mean, I was. What do you think uh, happened? I just think that they went on their way to this island. Yeah. And either A. All 115 of them. Yes. Like, I'm out. Yeah, all of them. Fuck it. Like, like there's nothing here. Like, they, capsizes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was, I don't know. I'm, I'm fighting between that's one theory and they made it, they somehow made it out there, but they got a, they got lost at sea somewhere mm. okay that's mm. like version one like I, so maybe they took a boat down because it's 50 miles yeah it's a bit of a trek they ran into the spanish or something yeah it's a bit of a oh, trek. Shit. no i don't think i think they just ran into some like the not ocean. knowing what to do at <laughs> yeah. sea and they just got lost and they got and they died Jack right Sparrow. yeah yeah raise the sheet <laughs> <laughs> or they went inland and yeah. then i mean like this fucking country is huge and then the they top. just kept going they just kept going like far enough deep in that Yep. You just never, you're never going to see them. The original yeah. Trail of Tears. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like the, the theory. I think a lot of them got sick. Um, okay. And then uh, it was covered up. 
Oh, definitely think it was Kimberly. Oh, that's true. I do like that theory. So maybe maybe half of them got sick and died. Oh, and then they found the. But where'd they end up? And then they all just scattered, like meaning. Like so they, they weren't. They, they didn't, they didn't stay together. there. Like, oh, there was like, I'm taking like, my family. My family's out. like, I'm yeah. out, and yeah. I'm gonna go find my way. And they went to like the Blue Ridge Mountains, and Died some there. with Indians, <laughs> and some with this, mm-hmm. and some went this way, and some went that way. I mean, that and then half of them died, and then when they, they came covered back, up, and they were like, we gotta kick these bodies out of here. Yeah, yeah, and then they covered it up. I definitely there was a cover. I like up. that. I do like that. I really think there was a cover up because they are trying to like, you're trying to get people to go, and if like if you're not yeah, and that's like you like owe taxes to the government, and you're like they're like you're going. Yeah, and sure, yeah. Yeah. I think they're not gonna hard yeah. press to yeah. to really get people to go. They're like, well, like my fucking next door neighbor to die there, bro. Like, <laughs> like, how the fuck would I go? Yeah. Like, I'm living yeah. pretty good. Yeah. I'm like, uh, I don't really understand the the tree. It really doesn't make sense. That part doesn't. Well, make they're sense. leaving. They're leaving word behind. They're leaving a note behind to where they're leaving a br- like not, an incomplete word. But no, it's also, no, they it did it. They did the full word in the, the fence. Yeah. But it doesn't the, necessarily whatever it mean was. that all 115 did that. Like it could have been just some crazy ass bitch. Oh, maybe maybe, it's, maybe, <laughs> a, maybe a new governor took over and yeah. like this is what we're doing. Yeah, like, like it doesn't. Like, <laughs> like I know, like. Like, if we were all in a commune with 115 people, Mm -hmm. and we were like, okay, we're all dying, just so you know, Mm -hmm. I would be like, I'm not really following you anymore, buddy. I'm, like, out on my own. And maybe he did something on a tree. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like, Like, it doesn't have to... Well, when shit gets, like, yeah, when shit gets wild, like, maybe, like, he's, like... He just takes all the supplies for himself. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because a little diversion with the crow. <laughs> Meet me at the crow tunnel, folks. He like dips. He's like, I'm out. Like, and they all like, oh, we gotta go to crow tunnel. And he's like, peace. So uh, okay. the last thing on it, the last thing on it is that uh, haunted. Uh, there is theories mm. that, that the, the island is, is the island is super haunted. Mm. Now, so then I have two questions. I have two questions. One, it's haunted uh, after like some traumatic. Yeah, you know, no, no, I mean, if after they, they died, disease, and then, but why did you hunt it because of disease? You're like pissed, ah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the shit out of this place. I got sepsis. So, but I have two questions Hunt on the it. shit One, out of you. <laughs> like, so, I have two questions. Like, on chlamydia, it. damn it. <laughs> 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 so, I have two questions on it. One is, do you believe in ghosts? And uh, two, like haunting ghosts, uh huh. And then two, is Roanoke haunted, dude? I do because. My, my, oh, I lived in, so when I lived in Ohio and one of the houses we lived in on the street called Observatory, mm-hmm. it was the first house on the street. It was like, like, dude, it was literally like 200, just think it was 200 years old. It was like, fuck, dude, it was like, so old, old, it was so old as old. fuck. And it was, it used to be a farmhouse and dude, there was you like I, crank the electricity and dude, weird shit would always happen. And like, my parents had multiple stories of like, my mom was not one to like get fucking scared and my dad too my dad's like hey whatever like my fucking scary shit yeah and he literally told me the story of how he was in bed and my mom had a very similar thing happen to her and he said like he's in bed and like he like he like feels my mom get out of bed mm. and he's like oh okay it's like dark mm-hmm. he's like oh she's going to like bathroom or something yeah mm-hmm. and then uh then he feels her you know like fucking feels her get back into bed and he rolls over and there's nobody there <laughs> and he's like Charles where the fuck are you? and she was like downstairs in the kitchen Really? Yeah, bro. Like, literally, oh, said he fucking freaked the fuck out. Mm. Like, he actually freaked the fuck out. Mm. Yeah. I was okay. like, oh my God. Can you imagine that? Wow, like, that's you pretty feel crazy. Something in the bed, totally. like, yeah, and you're like, oh, hey. You feel their, like, uh, their aura or their. Like, the weight. No, yeah. like the weight. Oh, of getting physically. In, yeah, you physically feel someone get into the oh, bed. Like, I can feel. That's like, freaky. I can feel like when my wife gets in the bed. Yeah, yeah. And it like rolls over and she's not there. And my mom's mm-hmm. downstairs in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. That's like, freaky. That is terrifying. So I think that there's some, like, I think we had this conversation before. About ghosts About and stuff? ghosts and, like, yeah, yeah, I think so. Like, how, like, yeah. the effects that, like, how, yeah. how much effect can they create? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I think there's some. Yeah, we did. We did. It's, like, it's like Patrick Swayze with the penny. <laughs> <laughs> or he's like, man, like, like, some of them nice in me yeah. right now. I'm, like, yeah. making this pottery. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what don't... that song is, but, yeah. I would sing it. Right yeah, now. I know what it is. I it. <sighs> yeah, I forgot. I don't want to close. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> not that one. It's definitely not it. Okay. Um, right. As far as ghosts, I, I, I actually, I in Roanoke, like. Do okay, we, well, we as far as ghosts, like I do. I want to believe in it, but I just—I've never had an experience. I've never ran into anything. Yeah, I've never had a you, personal buddy. experience. Right, my, my right parents, but not even like 
somebody that that I knew oh, like yeah. you. No, experience. no, nothing. nothing. So, but I don't know. I feel like I like mm. it's gotta gotta I'm, it's gotta be gotta exist somewhere. I'm with you, man. I don't think that. I'm glad you were honest the, about it too, though. Huh? I'm glad you were honest about, about it. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh, I remember. Now, we did have this conversation because yeah. I told you about that that one um, that one thing in, in San Antonio about the, the ghost oh, of the kids, the, the kids the yeah. bus, pushing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, actually, yeah. I don't even remember yeah. if it was in San Antonio I, or not, it was, but it was I like somewhere story, in Texas. Yeah. No, we, I, I forget what episode it was, but we talked about ghosts. Yeah, yeah. we did. We did. We did. I do remember that. Then. But Roanoke? I mean, I know haunted? you guys haven't been there. But Is apparently- it haunted? Yeah, apparently it Fuck. apparently has a thing. Nah. Yeah. Definitely not haunted. No, no one's theory. there. There's no one there just to haunt. Theory. They're just yeah. like there like, fuck. Yeah. I'm going right. to damn it. No, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not right. buying that one. Yeah? Nah. Right. Yeah. Definitely not. All right, well, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you guys go. Um, I think we solved Roanoke. <laughs> yeah. Frankly, got sure. the cover up. Yeah, classic. Oh, I mean, the oldest <laughs> trick in the book. I think we, I think we, we kind of all agree. Like they got sick or they got murdered. Yeah, and or then, they died of starvation. And then the people who came after were like, "We're not telling anybody about this." Yeah, they're like, mm. "You know what I mean?" I mean, the property we can't we can't drive the property value. Can't down. do this. You gotta, yeah. you gotta keep it yeah. on the ups. So there you go. Uh, prove us wrong. Yeah, I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear your shitty comments on TikTok anymore. Yeah. I don't want to TikTok you. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> no, we will answer, but stop doing it. <laughs> All, All right. right. There you guys go. Nighty night. <laughs>